allow God to bless you. Allow Him to favor you. Do not rush in anything that you're doing. Just wait. When God blesses you, you will see all your enemies. They'll be running after you, running after scatter. They want to see you. They want to know you. That's when they'll be saying, I know her. She was my friend. She was my sister. She was my everything. So be patient. So God will bless you. This next year that you're going, you're not going empty-handed. What you need to do is for life. When there is life, there is always hope. So allow him to bless you. Because when God blesses you, all those your enemies that has abandoned you, that said you are nobody to them, that said you are not meaningful, that said you are not fine. When the way God will bless you and give you money, <laughs> that your face will be smoother. You'll be driving your own car, staying in your own mansion. They'll be looking for you running at that scatter. Look how they'll be doing their head. Where is she? Where is she? They'll be dragging. Dragging wants to see you. When the bouncers are even bouncing them at, they'll be saying, What's wrong with you? Do you know her? I was with her. I was suffering with her. She's my friend. I know her. She was my childhood friend. I work with her. I do this. That's when you start saying all sorts of things. And you'll be there saying, Jesus, is that how you work, Dr. Jesus? So be patient each time you think. As a human being, you always think. Me, I do think. But sometimes, I will just remember, some people has passed on. And me, I am privileged opportunity to be alive. So why am I killing myself? That the time I will just keep calm. I will just behave myself. I will just respect myself. Whatever thing that is bothering me, I will just keep it quiet. I will just cry. As a human being, you cry. Will you always cry because you have blood that is flowing in you? When you cry, do not allow your enemies to see your tears. Who will see your tears? It's Dr. Jesus that knows your heart. He sees your tears. You know what you want. You know what is your 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 your, your test. You know what you've written, what you've been requesting for. He knows everything. Just, just be calm. Relax. Relax your mind. Relax your mind. When you are alive, you are healthy. When you are alive, you are happy. Do you know the most important thing in life when you are happy? You know, no sickness will even come your way. Even you sitting in the hospital, self, when you're happy enough, you see that sickness. You see the doctor will just come and check you today. You're okay. Your your heart is okay. Uh, this thing, you're getting ill. You're okay because you're always happy. Do not allow anything, any situation that is wrong with you that, to affect you. If you're having pain, just drink painkiller so that you will not feel that pain. That you tell the devil, you're a liar. Devil, get behind me. I shall not die. I will live what I want in life. I will. I I will, I will test it. People are testing it that God created. I too as a human being that God created. I too I will be there one day. That's what you need to be saying. That's what you need to be talking with your mouth. Be prophesying those words. Be prophesying those words. Me, I used to prophesy it. That's why I'm still alive today. If I start telling you things I've been through, if I start telling you where my leg has carried me to, oh God, Dr. Jesus is a great man. For him that has kept you, has kept me. He has planned. He has a better thing for us. So do not give up. Do not say Jesus, God. God has forgotten me. God has never forgotten you. Do you know what is our problem? Because we request too much. If you want to know that God is real working in your life just request a particular one thing you will see that thing will come to pass but at least you're, you're looking for a looking for b looking for c sister brother how will you know that god is working for you you will not know but when you are praying always pray for that particular special thing that you need in your life then keep praying keep requesting see keep disturbing him because you're his child do not say because I'm big, why will I be crying? Do not say because I'm big, why will I be complaining? Be, don't be, complain because he's your father, but do not complain to your enemies. Let them not laugh. Let them not use it against you. So be wise enough and be healthy. Always smile. Always try to open your teeth. No matter how your teeth is, open it, shine it, laugh. Talk to him because he's your savior. Each time you just see me, I will sit down and I'm talking to God. And people around me will say, ah, this girl, what, what is she saying? Is she talking? Is she possessed? I am not possessed because what I believe is that my heart is his temple. It comes in. So he's the only one I can report to. He's the only one I can talk to. But people will not understand. But my doctor Jesus understands me. So guys, see you guys on my next video. If you've not yet subscribed, guys, what are you waiting for? Do well to subscribe and be a part of this family because you're going to learn more you're going to learn more about life you're going to learn more about things that is happening around me and i'm going to share it out there for you guys to view see you guys next time i love you bye mm -hmm.